Hi everyone, Shane Art Monroe here. We're going to assume you have Plex installed and configured, everything's good to go. If not, go do that and then come back here. So the idea, of course, is that if you want to use Plex in offline mode, you need to find a show. Uh, we're going to use Modern Family and you'll find an episode on your Plex server and you'd like to bring it down to your Steam Deck so that you can watch it offline when you're on the train, on a plane, in the automobile. So you click the download button and that brings a copy of the show down. If you go look over at downloads, you'll see we sped it up a little bit that the show came down, but it defaults and is unchangeable. You have to use your internal storage, your SSD. Here's where it stores it. And this uh, entire path will be in the description below. Essentially it's .var app, TV Plex amp, blah, blah, blah. Again, we're drilling all the way in here. It took forever to find this, by the way. So the sync folder, this is where everything regarding a synced download is. So in order for us to make this work, we're gonna have to recreate this folder somewhere else and then link them up. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, in this case, we're gonna wanna put it on our micro SD card, right? And I'm gonna put mine right here in the root of it. I'm gonna create a new folder call it whatever you like. I'm gonna call it something I can easily see what it is. So I'm gonna use an underscore uh, Plex sync folder. And again, you can call it whatever you want. This folder is where we're gonna take all the contents and future contents of the sync folder and put it over there. And we're gonna make sure that it works in the future. So if we dig into this sync folder, you can see definitely that this is where the big files are, but there's a whole bunch of other files, a couple of uh, folders up. So we want that whole sync fo folder over there. So to do that, we're gonna rename the existing sync folder. Let's go ahead and make sure Plex is closed first. Rename the sync folder to something else. I'm gonna just rename it sync underscore. So it disconnect, it's, that's disconnected now from Plex. I'm gonna take this Plex sync folder. I want all of that content in here. So I'm gonna go up here and grab the path to this folder. Now it's gonna be different for you. I hit Control C on the clipboard. You can right click and copy whatever. Then we're gonna do a create new file or directory. Remember, sync has to be capital S, Y, and C. Uh, it all is case sensitive. We're gonna paste in the path we wanna to link to and we're good. Now remember that path is different than what your path is gonna be. Okay, so now we have this new sync folder, which is actually pointed over at the SD card. So all sync operations should now appear in that folder. Inside of here, we're gonna take all the stuff that used to be in the sync folder, and we're gonna move it over to this new location. Perfect. Now that the old sync folder is clean, we can delete it. I mean, you could double check, right? You could double check if you want, but we're gonna know that it works. I'm gonna grab another episode. I'm gonna hit download and all should be well, right? Well, it's not. I thought it would be, but it's not. So due to the file permissions problems, this download will error out. It'll never, it'll never finish. It'll sit here and say that it's going to download, but it won't download. So we have to do some more stuff. We're going to open up the Discover Store, go to Installed, and find your Plex entry all the way down below all the mesas. There we go. Select that scroll to the bottom and find configure permissions. Now I realize there's ways to do this that is, are less uh, open and you can use the console, but for this, find all system files and change it to read write. All system files read write. Now remember, it's an immutable file system, so there's only so much damage that a rogue tool can do, and we know Plex isn't a rogue tool. So now that we've um, given the permissions to the Plex flat app to go pretty much wherever it wants, Hopefully now in our downloads, that download should actually start, and it is, and the downloads will work, and what's more, all downloads will actually go from to this sync folder, but that's really over on your SD card, right? You can double check here, both locations are exactly the same. And if you want, we can dig in here and just make sure that that's where that new download went. So let's go over here, this download is in progress. We'll minimize that go in here. We'll go where we found the other one. We'll assume it's in the same place. Season one. Okay, there's the one that we originally downloaded. Now, it's probably worth noting it's downloading to a temp folder somewhere, right? That's probably still on your internal storage. So if you're bringing down a 4K rip of some sort, you probably need to have sufficient free space internal. All right, the download is almost done. 
We'll speed it up a little bit for you. Yep, there it is. Did you just see it appear? It is now being seen by Plex and it is now being seen in our new offloaded sync folder that is really just a sim link to trick the Plex app into installing all this stuff somewhere else. Well, that said, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonero. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.